From the startup screen, click on Open. Browse to your Chapter 10 folder and open Chapter 10 Duct Layouts. In this exercise, we're going to place some air terminals, add them to a system, and then create a duct layout from it. To start this, we need to be in a ceiling plan. Scroll down in your project browser until you reach Ceiling Plans, Level 2 Ceiling Plan. Scroll into the south end of the building. In this layout, go to your Systems tab and click on Air Terminal. We're going to use the Supply Diffuser with a rectangular face and a round neck. And the type we're selecting is the 600 by 600 with a 200 neck. As this is an unhosted family, I need to start by setting my ceiling height. And now I can start placing my diffusers. Because of the way these diffusers have been constructed, I'm initially going to place them at the intersection of the ceiling tiles. When I've finished, click on Modify. I'll move them all in one go, so I can select them individually and use the Control key to add to my selection set. I'm now going to move them 300 and move them again by typing in 300 vertically. Now I have my layout. Still with the diffusers selected, I can now click on Create a System. It's a Supply Air System, and we'll go with a system name SA1. Click on OK. You can now see that the diffusers are highlighted to indicate that they are all in the same system. With that system still selected, I've got the options to either generate a layout or generate a placeholder layout. I'm going to generate a full layout. Revit now gives me a variety of solutions. We've got different types of solutions. We have network, perimeter and intersections. And depending on the layout that we created, we'll have different variations. As I scroll through these different solutions, any that come up with a yellow line through here indicate that our layout will not work. The other thing that I want to be wary of is the settings. When we placed our diffusers, we placed them at 2400 above the floor level. I'm now looking at my duct, which is offset 3050 from the floor. Let's make it 3200. Additionally, I'll look at the branch and make sure that is at the same level. We can also specify a maximum flex duct length. Let's say that's 1500 and click on OK. If I now click on Finish Layout, Revit will generate a ductwork layout for me. It may not be the best designed ductwork layout you've ever seen, but it does give you the ability to create layouts extremely quickly. I can further review the layout by creating a section and double clicking on the section head takes me to that section. And I can also review that layout in 3D. But wait a minute, I can only see the entirety of my building. Right click on the view cube and orient to a view. I'm going to orient to a section and I'm going to orient to the section that I've just created, which is section 10. This has now cropped my entire 3D view, but it allows me to see how the design works with the rest of the services. It also allows me to pick up any errors, like this flex duct that isn't working. Its bend is too great, and that is why we can only see a single line. Back in the ceiling plan, let's take a look at that and adjust my layout slightly. Back in the section, let's drag the fittings. And my layout is now more acceptable. 